Hello friends, today we are going to learn condition for maximum efficiency in case of reaction steam turbine. During this session, we will be understand the velocity triangles at inlet and outlet for reaction turbine, what are their similarities, how we are going to draw the triangles in different cases and condition for maximum efficiency. So, in last lecture we derived the formula for efficiency of reaction turbine. Now, for deriving the condition for maximum efficiency, we know reaction turbine cannot be used practically single. So, it is the combination of impulse and reaction turbine. So, before that we are making some assumptions that the degree of reaction is 50% and which means it is Parson turbine and the moving and fixed blades are symmetrical that is what theta equal to beta and alpha equal to phi next the exit velocity from preceding stage is same as the entrance to the succeeding stage which is nothing but u1 equal to vr2 and v2 equal to vr1 let us understand what is v1 equal to vr2 and v2 equal to vr1 if you see this is inlet velocity triangle and this is outlet velocity triangle we are keeping same velocity triangle for all the cases that is for hydraulic and steam turbines so by this way you can easily understand the problems as well as theory now if you see this inlet velocity v1 will be equal to vr2 these two should be equal for reaction turbine and vr1 should be equal to v2 okay and this alpha will be equal to phi and this theta will be equal to beta similarly vf1 will be equal to vf so by this way we have combined velocity triangle in some books reference books they have mentioned the upside triangles and in some books they have mentioned the downside triangles you can draw in any of these triangles okay you will get full marks now let us see this is inlet velocity triangle v1 corresponding angle is alpha 1 so v1 corresponding angle is alpha 1 similarly vr1 corresponding angle is theta vr1 corresponding angle theta vf1 okay opposite to vr1 opposite to vr1 vf1 so base is blade velocity that is from inlet of v1 to vr1 so inlet of v1 to vr1 u so this is vw1 overall from v1 to vf1 so v1 to vf1 similarly outlet velocity triangle from vr2 to v2 vr2 to v2 that is u okay blade velocity now for this case we know blade velocity will remain same that is u so angle phi phi v2 makes an angle of beta v2 makes an angle of beta okay and vf2 opposite to that of v2 similarly you can draw from upside down okay how you draw this draw first base okay straight line in that draw velocity blade velocity and from blade velocity take a one point and draw v1 okay considering angle alpha then next by considering theta at the end of v2 we are one sorry we are one or at the end of this u we are one extent whenever it meets that point will be in point of these two then join or perpendicular from this point will be v of 1 so all these methods can be explained in next session when we go for graphical examples at that moment it will be very clear right now you just understand what is combined velocity triangle in which inlet and outlet velocity triangles are combined so let us go into our maximum efficiency case so for deriving maximum efficiency so we know efficiency is nothing but work done by it's applied in this case work done is nothing but 
rotation of that shaft and heat supplied is change of enthalpy across a particular stage. We know work done equal to Vw1 plus Vw2. So derive in terms of Vw and Vw2 as if I am considering cos of alpha on linear velocity triangle cos of alpha equal to Vw1 by V1 which will be equal to Vw1 equal to V1 cos of alpha and for cos phi okay cos phi equal to u plus vw2 by vr2 so vw2 equal to vr2 cos phi minus u now work done equal to u in bracket vw1 plus vw2 so vw1 plus vw2 if i substitute this what i get u in bracket v1 cos of alpha plus vr2 cos phi minus u but we know that for parsons reaction turbine phi equal to alpha and vr2 equal to v1 so phi equal to alpha and v r2 equal to v1 so this v1 cos of alpha and v1 cos of phi okay will becomes 2 v1 cos of alpha minus of u so what i am doing here in terms of i need to derive in terms of blades ratio speed ratio so dividing by and multiplying by v1 square so v1 square by v1 square so what i get if I multiply this to v1 u cos of alpha minus u into u u square dividing by v1 square v1 square v1 square this v1 square will be come outside so work done equal to v1 square in bracket so u by v is nothing but yes so u by v is nothing but yes so one v will get cancelled here so 2s yes, cos of alpha minus s yes square so next delta h for delta h we know kinetic energy supplied to the blade that is fixed v1 square by 2 for moving blade this vr2 square minus vr1 square by 2 so total kinetic energy supplied to a particular stage will be equal to v1 square by 2 plus vr2 square minus vr1 square by 2 but we know vr2 is nothing but vr uh, so v1 for parsons reaction turbine so delta h equal to v1 square by 2 plus v1 square instead of vr2 it is v1 square minus vr1 square by 2 so this v1 square by 2 and v1 square by 2 that is nothing but half plus half will becomes 1 that is v1 square minus vr1 square by 2 now consider this as equation number 2 now I'm applying cosine rule to inlet plus a triangle to find out vr1 in terms of cos of alpha okay. so to find out vr1 in terms of alpha apply cosine rule so this square plus this square minus of 2 into product of this so v1 square plus u1 square minus 2 v1 u cos of alpha so finally delta h becomes v1 square minus of 1 by 2 into this bracket v1 square plus u1 square minus 2 v1 u cos of alpha now multiply by 2 to this side so what 2 v1 square minus this v1 square is plus minus u square plus minus into minus become plus 2 v1 u cos of alpha divided by 2 so next is simplifying that equation v1 square plus 2 v1 u cos of alpha minus u square by 2 so finally if i take v1 square by 2 common what i get 1 plus 2 u by v1 dot cos of alpha minus u by v bracket square if i take v1 square by common now we know s yes equal to u by v substituting this u by v equal to s v1 square by 2 in bracket 1 plus 2 s yes, cos of alpha minus s yes square consider it as equation number 3 now substituting work done and enthalpy drop in efficiency top that is blade efficiency or diagram efficiency equal to work done by heat drop across a particular stage 
will be equal to p1 square in bracket 2s cos of alpha minus s square divided by p1 square by 2 in bracket 1 plus 2s cos of alpha minus s square. So we find this. So this v2 will goes to numerator v square v square will get cancelled. So what remains 2s cos of alpha minus s square divided by 1 plus 2s cos of alpha minus s square. Now yes, s is common. So I took common. What remain 2s 2 in bracket cos of alpha minus s divided by 1 plus 2s cos of alpha minus s square. Now I am making some adjustment to cancel out this denominator term. Okay. So what adding and subtracting 2 from numerator. So adding and subtracting 2 from numerator. So 2. So I am complete making this one bracket and this is another bracket. So 2. So 1. So 2 is taken common. 1 plus 2s cos of alpha minus s square minus of 2 divided by 1 plus 2s cos of alpha minus s square. So what remains? So this divided by this will get cancelled. So remains 2 minus of 2 divided by 1 plus 2s cos of alpha minus s square. So when the efficiency will be maximum, when this term should be minimum. So when this should be minimum when denominator should be higher so efficiency will be maximum when this bracket denominator will be higher so condition is that differentiating this equation with respect to s and equating to 0 so differentiation of 1 plus 2s cos of alpha minus s square equal to 0 so equation becomes 2 so s become 1 cos of alpha minus 2s equal to 0. Simplifying this, 2 2 will get cancelled. Cos of alpha equal to s or s equal to cos of alpha. Now substituting that s equal to cos of alpha in this equation, maximum efficiency will be equal to 2 minus 2 upon 1 plus 2 cos square alpha minus cos square alpha equal to 2. So this minus 2 and minus 1 becomes plus 1. So we will be minus. 2 minus 2 upon 1 plus cos square alpha. So if I took 2 as common, so 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus cos square alpha cross multiply 2 in bracket 1 plus cos square alpha minus 1. So plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled. So what remains maximum efficiency condition as 2 cos square alpha divided by 1 plus cos square alpha. So this is the condition at which the maximum efficiency can be obtained. And beyond this velocity speed ratio that is just equal to u by v equal to cos of alpha beyond this you will get less efficiency so at that point only you will be getting maximum efficiency so during this session you will be able to understand how to draw velocity triangles for reaction turbine and condition for maximum efficiency of reaction turbine thank you